Henry stood at the grave, his hand trembling as he threw a handful of earth into the open pit. Iris, his seven-year-old daughter, clung to him, tears streaming down her face. It was time to say goodbye to Mom. Despite his mother-in-law's attempts to dissuade him, Henry had brought Iris to the funeral. The ceremony unfolded with people approaching, tossing earth into the grave, and departing, leaving behind a solemn silence. Before we let you know what is happening, help us out by clicking the like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss our future videos. As the crowd dispersed, Henry's mind was a whirlwind. His mother-in-law approached, attempting to communicate, but Henry was lost in his thoughts. Eventually, he shook off the haze, promising to catch up later. With the memorial service blurred in his memory, Henry found solace in a peculiar idea. He took a small camera from his pocket, pinned it to a nearby tree, and fixed his gaze on the screen. The camera was positioned to capture his wife's grave, a strange attempt to extend his connection with her. It was impulsive, a temporary measure to cope with the loss. The following days passed in a fog of condolences, sympathies, and societal formalities. Henry felt suffocated by it all, yearning to escape the well-meaning but ineffective words of comfort. Amidst the commiserations, his mother-in-law offered stoic strength, concealing her own grief. In a bid to find some semblance of peace, Henry revisited the camera's footage that night. The cemetery, bathed in moonlight, revealed nothing out of the ordinary. Disheartened, he tried to sleep, haunted by unsettling dreams. Yet, a peculiar event awaited him on the laptop screen. In the dark hours, a woman appeared on the screen, standing near his wife's grave with a bouquet of flowers. Henry, initially dismissing it as a dream, realized the woman's existence was tangible. As he scrutinized the image, shock gripped him. The woman was none other than his supposedly deceased wife, Alice. Confounded, Henry grappled with the revelation. His wife, whom he had identified in the morgue, was alive and well. Overwhelmed by a surge of emotions, he struggled to comprehend the situation. Determined to find her, he rushed to his car, eyes fixed on the screen tracking her movements. Navigating the twists of the story, Alice explained her decision to fake her death. Her long-lost twin sister Natalie had reappeared, bringing with her a tumultuous past. Natalie's threats and instability had pushed Alice to extreme measures, feigning her demise to protect her family. As Henry absorbed the truth, a mix of relief and uncertainty enveloped him. Alice's unexpected surrender to the police marked a turning point. The legal proceedings unfolded, revealing Natalie's dark history, and the courtroom witnessed Alice's release amid cheers and tears. Reflecting on the tumultuous events, the family chose to keep the grave as a poignant reminder. A modified inscription conveyed the sentiment, the family will be together no matter when. In the end, as life unraveled its unpredictable chapters, Alice aimed to chart a course free from the burdens of secrecy and fear. The family, scarred by a series of twists, embarked on a journey toward healing and a future untethered from the shadows of the past.